Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. For today's video, I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I am to be sharing this one with you guys. Now you've already read the title, so you know we are going to be talking about dupes, but I'm extra excited about this one because I am going to be sharing dupes of some products I thought were undupable. I don't even think undupable is a word, but for the longest time I held these products in such high regards, I never thought I will find alternatives for them, let alone finding affordable alternatives to them. But we did, and I'm going to share them with you guys in this video. I actually have a half and half on my face right now. So go ahead and take a guess which side do you think is more affordable and which side do you think is more high end. I'm going to kill the curiosity right here. I have my high end products on my right side and more affordable products on my left side. But they look exactly the same and that is what dupes are for me. So I'm not going to make this intro any longer and ramble on and on and on. Without any further ado, if you want to know some amazing dupes, then please keep on watching. The first dupe I want to share with you guys is for a matte bronzer. Now finding a bronzer alternative is hard in itself but finding a matte bronzer alternative is harder because you want to get the color, the texture, the undertone exactly the same. With shimmery bronzers you can play it off a little bit since the reflexes are different and all of that but with matte bronzers you really gotta hit the nail in the head and I finally have something I can highly recommend. So I have my Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in the shade Golden Light with me right here and this bronzing powder is a beautiful one. It's so buttery soft, it's non-patchy and looks beautiful on the Skin. I'm going to give you a little swatchy swatch right here and we do have an amazing alternative for it from the house of Revolution Relove. It is their super bronzer in the shade Desert and I did a whole speed review regarding this product so I will leave a link for you guys up in the eye in case you want to know more about this product and everything but when we talk about the texture again it's a buttery soft and smooth it's not patchy on the skin and again the undertone is just one of the best undertones you can go for. As you can see in the application clip right here both of these bronzers go on the skin so smoothly. I have used similar but separate brushes for both of the bronzers so that there is no cross contamination of the product right here but both of these look so beautiful on the skin they sculpt your skin without adding too much warmth or too much grayness to your skin and I love both of these products so much so if you are on the lookout for an affordable bronzer Revolution Relove would be my option but if you want to splurge a little Bobbi Brown is the best one to go for now this next product you guys I cannot even believe I found a dupe for because for the longest time I had been saying I cannot dupe this I cannot dupe this but I finally I found something I can highly recommend to you guys. First of all we are talking about my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Radiant Light and you know I freaking love this stuff. Now depending on the shade that you pick up and your skin tone there are multiple ways in which you can use this product. When I picked it up I had a lot of tan going on and everything so I used it as a finishing powder. I used to dust it all over my skin to get like a glowy effect but these days I use it like a bronzer diffuser or I use it like a glowy bronzer on days when I'm going more natural. Let me quickly give you a swatch of this shade so you can see what I mean but this is a gorgeous light diffusing product and no matter what sort of a glowy or illuminating bronzer I picked up nothing ever compared to this because this just goes on so beautifully on the skin this is a big formulation so it just looks so gorgeous and natural on the skin but then I compared it to my luminous bronzer from Flower Beauty and I was shocked now this is in the shade heat wave and oh my god you guys this one again it's a big formulation let me give you a quick swatch against the ambient lighting powder and you can see how similar these are and again when I apply them on my face you can see how beautifully they just diffuse my bronzer out add just the nice amount of glow to my skin makes my skin look so 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 healthy so if you've been always on the lookout for hourglass ambient lighting powder you can definitely check out the flower beauty luminous bronzer it's now time to dupe a blush and we are duping none other than one of my favorite blushes of all time. I am talking about Melba by MAC. Now this is a beautiful matte blush and I've been talking about this shade since forever. Now it's just the right amount of peach, the right amount of pink. It's neutral but it's gorgeous on the skin. And again, it's a non-patchy formula. It just looks so, so, so beautiful once you blend it out on your skin. And my search finally came to an end when K-Beauty launched their blushes and I have the shade Sugar Candy with me right here. Now when you swatch them side by side, sugar candy might seem a little pink but the thing with blushes is that you have to blend them out on your skin and once you blend both of these out you can see in the application clip right here they look exactly the same on the skin both of these look so gorgeous so beautiful on the skin k-beauty's matte blushes are honestly really well formulated and i love how gorgeous they look on the skin so if you are looking forward to saving a little bit of money or if you want to go cruelty free because mac sadly isn't cruelty free still you can definitely check out k-beauty's matte blushes they do have an amazing shade range in there as well. 
You guys know I love Vanand and Aisharu's and Aisharu crayons are one of my favorites out there for the ease and simplicity of usage. So I had to share an affordable dupe with you all. I have my Bio Terry Ombre Black Star with me right here, which is basically a cream eyeshadow in a stick and it's black in color. It's so creamy, so rich. It blends out beautifully. So it's a great smoky eye base. But once it's set, it is set. You can also use it as a liner. I have done that today. And one company that's doing great stick eyeshadows in India, and I've talked about them over and over again, is again K Beauty. I have their eyeshadow crayon in the shade Desire with me right here. And I've talked about how I love their matte crayons so much. I love them more than the shimmery ones. And again, this is a beautiful matte black crayon. And on the eyes, both of these go on so smoothly. They smudge out with the same ease and they set with the same speed as well. So if you are on the lookout for a great crayon eyeshadow, K Beauty honestly has my heart. I have talked about these a lot of times. But again, if you feel like splurging, by Terry has some gorgeous shades in there as well. Now for this last dupe, when I tell you that my heart skipped a beat when I found it, I'm not even kidding. I'm talking about my Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hot Cocoa. And you guys know how much I love this formulation. It's this beautiful demi-matte formulation. So comfortable, so rich, so luxuriant on the lips. And this color in itself, it's so gorgeous. It's a beautiful brown shade. I love this formulation, love this color. You guys know I've been obsessed with these for the longest while. And I've been saying that this is worth the money. Of course, this is worth the money. But if you don't want to spend that amount of money, we have a great affordable alternative from the house of Kiro Beauty. It's their lip lacquer in the shade Spiced Nutmeg. And oh my god, you guys, the formulation, the color, the everything, it is just spot on and it's again such a comfortable and beautiful formulation to wear they look exactly the same on the lips and you cannot even pinpoint a single difference so honestly i'm really excited to pick up more colors from kiro beauty because i can't wait to see what else they have in store i never thought i could find a dupe for my bobby brown crushed liquid lipsticks but i'm so glad i did but that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this and found this video helpful if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me also let me know if you'd like to see more dupes video and i would love to do them for you guys i love to go through my collection and find hidden gems but i'll see you guys next time till then take care i love you all so much Mwah. bye mm -hmm.